as the floodwaters rose, declaring three quarters of Queensland a disaster zone, a horrified nation was moved by stories of loss, suffering, and tales of heroic individuals and communities. Tonight, the rugby league community gathers to lend its support. Sideline, tremendous. I just hope he can flatten that bulldog. Yes, good. He's going to do the. Oh no! It's a love in the mascots. Oh, this is no good. It's all falling off the rails already. And look at the players out in the middle. They're shaking hands with each other. Yeah, and Benny also in the white socks. Now, a man who's played 274 first grade games, and after years of being so close, he finally got to taste Origin football in 1989. In number 10 tonight, Mario Fennick. Yes, test match. Back at Parramatta <laughs> Stadium, and uh, it's sad. The backwards running, kiss to the crowd. Mario's got the lot. Uh, the only thing that disappoints me is that Benny and Mario aren't on opposite sides tonight. Uh, hooking... Well, who can forget the great clashes between uh, Test Match and uh, The Door? <laughs> now in the second row for New South Wales, a 300-gamer. He played 10 Origins for the Blues between 99 and 2003. Control yourself, Joey. He's from the Roosters, Luke Rickardson. At the grapple. Oh, yes, Luke Rickardson. Uh, a very, very fine player. We're lucky to have him here tonight. He could have been doing anything else you like to name, really staying home watching television. But he's given it up for the people of Queensland. And remember, you can help out by ringing 1800 219 028 throughout the call tonight. And that's the Premier Disaster Relief Fund appeal. Yeah, Rico's got a bit of the salt and pepper look happening now. In number 13, perhaps the greatest New South Wales player of them all. 31 Origins, 14 as captain. He debuted for the Blues as an 18-year-old and played 336 first-grade games. Here is Brad Fittler. Yes, Brad Fittler. I was surfing with him this morning and had to pull him out of the rip. Uh, so he's going to be here tonight. Uh, Brad Fittler, very recent memories. Of course, he could pass that ball very close to the line uh, on attack and uh, score some wonderful tries for New South Wales. He looks fit. Now to the bench, and what a bench we have in number 14, one of Penrith's all-time favourites. Premiership winning captain in 91. He played for the Blues six times, Greg Alexander. And has moved on to become a great commentator, I think, on uh, an opposing network of ours. Well, he's also on the Fox Sports network. And, there of course, go. it's uh, hands across here with Triple M and Fox Sports it, tonight. It's a rugby league lifestyle, isn't it, that Alexander has? Now, wearing number 15 is a man who wore the Blues jersey 21 times. He played 244 first-grade games for Balmain South and the Cowboys, Tim Brasher. Yes, Tim Brasher. He became a golf caddy after he left uh, rugby league. And I think he arrived at training because he didn't early on at uh, the Tigers because he didn't have a drive his license he rode up on his bike in number 16 he's one of club football's all-time best his mark of 349 first grade games is still the number to beat he played seven origins including his first one when he was 19 terry lamb yes baba lamb who can forget the hit on ellery henley that took ellery out in that famous final tigers v dogs 1988 yes a long time ago but it was a wonderful hit and it was, a, a, you know, kids today, if they want to learn about rugby league, look it up on YouTube and study it closely. <laughs> Wearing number 17 for the Blues. This man donated a couple of grand at the Queensland Flood Relief last week on Triple M. Then this morning he backed up, paying another $14,600 just to be on this stage. He's 43, runs a fruit and veg company, but tonight he is an origin player. Please, a big welcome for a very generous man, Mr Tony Trim. Yes, I've watched him with a box of tomatoes. He can do great things with a rock melon, and tonight he'll be doing it with a Stephen. I just hope the boys can feed it to him and set him free down that far flank, uh, Dan. Now, yeah, one of the longest serving Blues players wears number 18 tonight, 22 Origins, 17 Tests, a legend of the Illawarra, Rod Wishart. Yeah, Rod Wishart, a great player, a great stealer, and uh, obviously a tremendous contributor at this level. And uh, sadly, the Steelers no longer with us. Rugby league, it's a funny old thing. <laughs> <laughs> in number 19 this man played 14 origins from 99 to 2003 and he played 170 first grade games for the roosters in south sydney brian fletcher uh, old man fletch he's still with us and still looking older uh, that's fletch that's the story in a nutshell just age 
Now, this could be the greatest number 20 in the history of rugby league. 14 origins, 23 tests, over 240 first grade games for Balmain. Paul Sirenen. Yes, look out, here come the Bucks. Siro's on the field. A great cheer. Don't the Poles hate Siro? If they saw that coming at him, they'd still hate him. And ladies and gentlemen, we come to the New South Wales captain. You know, two weeks ago, he thought up the idea. He picked up the phone and the players. They came running. Nearly 20,000 tickets snapped up in a day. Live radio coverage, live TV coverage across Australia and New Zealand. It is all because of this man. He is the reason we're here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, MG Mark Geyer. Yes, the trap is on. Sometimes he's off. Sometimes he's hot. Sometimes he's cold. No wonder he's called the trap. Mark Geyer. And I'm fancying the first time in his illustrious career he's been given a standing ovation here at Parramatta Stadium. What a great scene. That's great. Go get her, crackers. That's great. <laughs> Look, he can even run still. As he goes up to uh, what would be the para end as opposed to the non para end of the park here at Parramatta Stadium. That's great. Mark Guy and well deserved because this uh, Premier's Disaster Relief Appeal needs all the help it can get. And if you've got a couple of bob in your pocket, 1800 219028. Now we're just getting the team photos at this particular stage. I like the old, uh, it's the old grand final introduction. Remember in the 80s when they'd bring them out one by one? I, I mean, can't. I mean, sure, it's taken more time I here can't. than what the game will take. I remember in like 1986, they bring them out one by one. I think television can be We'd have television at Cessna. <laughs> That's before my time there. Just. Now, it's a tremendous night here, though, and can I thank you? We've got a moment here while the team photos are done. Thank everybody for coming along and buying the tickets here tonight and filling up the Parramatta Stadium. It's a tremendous uh, cause, and the people of Queensland who have been affected by this flood or these floods must take, or Victoria for that matter, must take tremendous comfort from seeing the people in Sydney and rugby league people in particular, because you always know rugby league people will help out. Rugby league people haven't let them down here tonight at Parramatta Stadium. Now, we are playing for a, a trophy tonight, which is quite fittingly the, the Jordan Rice Shield and if you don't know the Jordan Rice story, he was a 13-year-old from Toowoomba who was caught in a car with his mum, Donna, and the, his 10-year-old brother, Blake. And the car was engulfed by a flash flood, and when a, a rescuer came to collect Jordan, who couldn't swim, by the way, Jordan said, no, take my brother. The ultimate sacrifice. Blake survived while Jordan and his mum lost their brave battle. And, and we, we must thank Jordan's dad, John Tyson, who in the unimaginable grief of losing his son and his wife, was gracious uh, enough to allow us to play the game in Jordan's honour. And, John, I know you're watching this up in Queensland. Look, we can't possibly imagine the grief you're going through, but we do feel your pain. And we do remember you and your boy Jordan as we play this game tonight. Now, I believe we can go downstairs because it's time for the National Anthem. And here from Triple M's The Grill Team, here's Gus Wallen. Thanks very much, Dan. Thank you very much, commentary team. Fantastic to see you boys out here. We need to be upstanding now for Shannon Knoll and the National Anthem. And let's remember, sing it loud, sing it proud for all our friends and families up in Queensland. Shannon Knoll, ladies and gentlemen. Parramatta Stadium. Can you believe Andrew Johns, the crowd, the turnout for this event? It is as full as you'll ever likely to see Parramatta Stadium. I still can't believe it. Looking around, I still can't believe it. Just phenomenal. 
So we'll get a kickoff in a couple of moments here. Let's go down to the sideline from Triple M and Fox Sports as well. Here is Greg Mardo Martin. I tell you one of the best things about it, looking up close to these players, we have hairy legs finally on uh, rugby league players. Tony Curry, what's your training been like for this fixture? Training, I oh, bowled 12 overs to me uh, young fella yesterday and uh, that was my fitness test. I think you may be the fittest one out there. What about Andrew Simons? Mate, what have you been doing lately? Oh, fishing is the answer, yeah. Also very good for rugby league if you're using the right bait. Kevin Campy, when's the last time you hit somebody in anger? Sorry, mate, what was that? When did you last hit someone in anger? Oh, mate, uh, my wife the other night, probably, yeah. Right, uh, we might leave it there, boys. We don't want to go domestic violence track. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, Marto. Thank you very much. We'll catch up with you uh, a little bit later on. It's going to be Queensland who will be kicking off here. And who do you think is going to be first to hit it up, Joey? Spud. Where's Spud? <laughs> Where is he? Come on, Spud. Well, the, uh, uh, the referee this evening, Bill Harrigan, uh, look, I had a couple of words to Bill early on. I said, Bill, sometimes I worry about... So here we are, ready for a kickoff. Sorry, HC hey, Nelson, little technical hitch there. That's all right. I was just uh, developing a point about Bill Harrigan and his uh, policing of the forward pass and the 10 metres. That's what I'm looking for tonight. Forward passes and 10 metres. I don't care what else happens. You can go high if you want it. That's all right. This is origin legend. Uh, traditional softening up period. They take it. We're underway, Dan. Here we go. Oh, short kickoff. That's tactical. And Girdler is the man that hits it up first. Does well to hang on to the ball. The New South Wales not in a bad position on the first tackle. There's Freddie. An acting Spike. half. Spud Across now. And finally, Spud gets the ball. A bit yeah. late for mine. Tactics early, Joey? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to work it out. Go, Mario. Yeah, it's got no! it. And it's going away. Mark Coyne inside pass oh! away. Jason Smith quickly away. Now to the big fella. Over the 20 here. And Queensland already on the attack. Well, a stunning start here at Parramatta Stadium. And as Kerrin Walters waits a dummy half. And, geez, they laid all over the tackler there. And Billy Harrigan letting it go. Backo uses a decoy. There's Gordy Tallis going up towards the 10 metre line, trying to get the offload away. Mario in the tackle. There's Big MG. And look at Queensland right in front of the sticks, only nine metres away. And only a couple of tackles. To the right they go, Lamb across to Robbie O. And he stopped there nice and comfortably there. That's Fletcher and also uh, Freddie. In fact, it's uh, Luke Ricketts in there involved in the tackle. Dell. That's Queensland with Dell working it up the centre. And it takes three of them to bring him down. Uh, the Queensland side have chewed up four tackles here. And again, it's a slow play, the ball, as Walters, the lefty goes. Lamb keeps it going as Rogers, dangerous. Well, intercept! Now Blackburn is taken from behind there by Matt Rogers. And two intercepts in the first couple of minutes of this game. And there's now New South <laughs> Wales oh, throwing it about. This is trouble. There's MG off a standing start. He gets the big legs pumping. That's not bad. He ran straight at the little man, Matt Rogers. He ran 20 metres just to get to Matt Rogers. There's New South Wales. He just are going nowhere. There's Spud, his second run. And he's put on his back here. And it is. We've got it. We, we, we can't uh, stress enough. Oh, oh, knock on New South Wales as Mario puts it down. A and play on. Oh, Billy lets it go. I was going to say, it is a very hot night here at Parramatta, particularly steamy. And that's why we might see a lot of drop ball. I was worried about Bill's uh, tackle count. It's a six-tackle game, Bill. Uh, I think he went to about 14 in that first passage when Queensland were threatening. But apart from that, a very open game of rugby league with excitement for both uh, fans and players alike. No, the Blues There's the here. kick. Good kick. He's going to go straight down the throat here of Kerry Boasted. That's it. Sit up. Takes it. And that's a nice, strong run. Kerry Boasted is 51 years old. Good drop the shoulder in it. And well, that was a nice strong run to start things off. Now Queensland, the yeah. early uh, setting the early pace here, Robbie O'Davis. And I think as this game goes on, Andrew Johns, we're probably going to see more of the younger blokes taking a role, the Matt Rogers, the Wendells. And as we see now, Lamb, oh, a dicey pass across there to Rogers. I tell you who's exciting the New South Wales defence is Sam Backo's looking for work. <laughs> uh, sadly, the players aren't fighting him, but he's there if they want him. Uh, Out wide it goes, into touch. Uh, they've dropped the ball there, Queensland. And this will be a New South Wales scrum feed and a little bit of a rest for everyone. Tactics, three minutes in, keep the ball away from Mario Fennec. His early touches have been disgusting. Now, it's nil all if you've just joined us, Dan. Well, uh, I was about to say, and by the way, we are broadcasting the on the Triple Mario. Network in, uh, in Sydney and Brisbane and also Fox Sports on TV as uh, Mario was looking for a little bit of a 
the battle there as we see. Oh, Cliffy lines a lovely little ball to Gary Jack. Not fallen for though by Robbie O. And the Blues just inside Queensland territory. Oh, look at Freddie go. It's like he never retired. 38 metres away. And uh, the door coming in for work there. <laughs> Way goes to no, test match. No, test match stacks no, 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 ahead. No. Over the 30 metres for uh, in the into the Queensland. Uh, good, good strong run there from Mario as they go to the shorts. Oh, <laughs> Benny smashing a tackle. Hit hard by Wendell and the ball comes loose here. And now Queensland. I'm going to turn defence oh, into attack. And here they go. they got a three on two. And here they are. His pass. And as it comes into the hands here for Peach. Peachy, back to Kamali, and now it's New South Wales' oh. turn to dominate field position. 39 metres out here. And Bill's keeping a big 10 here, a nice fat 10, so they can get a bit of speed up. Look at... Oh, the tap! Three goes! <laughs> out to Kamali again. MG there, passing almost before he hit the line there as he gives it away to the Blacklock. And the Blues here have used up a couple of tackles. They're 40 metres out. No score yet in this game as Carroll away to Fiddler. Here we go. Beautiful long pass away. And Eric Groth. Nice catch there as he made some territory. And the Blues now will go back to the open right. Here's Carroll dumbing before the line at four and four there by Kerrod Walters, the Queensland hooker. And Gordon Tallis, is it? You know, they're 25 out now, the Blues. Late in the tackle count as Lions. Crossfield he goes, Kamali. Nice chain. Gary Jack needs to get rid of it. He does. It's on the deck. Now, this is a live ball here. The Blues haven't knocked this on. This could be six to go. Peachy, He's away to Blacklock. Signal six to go. He certainly has. So the Blues here, with a bit of razzle-dazzle going sideways. Now they'll bring it forward. As his big MG gets the offload away to Mario. Bumps <laughs> off one. Still gets rid of it. Lines. That was touched by Wendell. Should be six to, six to go. And it is. And they keep going. Oh, here's a it's a two on two. Inside pass. Rickardson. Ball lost. Queensland come away with it. Knows. Pick a penalty. It's a penalty here for the New South Wales side, and they'll get six more tackles. Wasn't that good play? It was. Vintage. Sorry. Vintage. I'm v loving the work v of Cliffy Vintage Lawrence. Mario Fennec. And Gary Jack as well. And they're well. underway. They've taken a quick tap. Spot is going for the line. He's held up in a tackle. Yes. A magnificent tackle. Oh. It's big Sammy Backer. Sam Backer. Wow. That, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Bit of gristle in that play. There's, oh, look at him. Look at him go. As uh, the Blues come across to the open side. Kamali, the dummy. The inside Bitler. pass away. Oh, Freddy bumps off one. Test match. Now going backwards. <laughs> Playing by Wendell, but a beautiful pass away to Kamali. Needs to offload. Finds MG. That's his third offload for the game, the big fella. Now they bring it to the open left. Carroll again. And hasn't the crowd found voice down in this attacking raid uh, down the new Queensland end? Well, there's still got plenty of tackles to go in New South Wales. Well, They've only used up a couple. They've got There's 18. Lions. Look at them hang off him. Oh, oh he's the goes ball. down. Gary Jack there dropping it. And now Queensland oh, get a bit of a rest in defence as they get the ball back. And just tuning in. No score. Six and a half gone. We are playing four 15-minute quarters. Oh, the old skills from the rake there, the door. He got the ball away. Well, unfortunately for him, he didn't uh, <laughs> didn't control it. Didn't Typically at the door. So now Queensland here with Kerrod Walters. Passing before the line. Jeez, that put Mal in a dangerous position. He had nowhere to go. And the Maroons here. You know, I know we've got a judge man of the match. Who, who's your thoughts, early thoughts? <laughs> He's, uh, oh! Oh, yes, sir. And Queensland get the first try in this Legend of Origin. Time machine. Hasn't it been? Razzle, dazzle. Four points to nil Queensland about halfway through this opening period. And for those listening on the radio, the kick that comes from about mid-range. Andrew Johns, that was beautiful. In fact, we've got Gary Belcher with us, and uh, we can have a quick chat to him. Hey, Badge, what about Gordon? Credit for that. I hope you're not going to give all the credit to Gordon Taylor, seriously. Yeah. He didn't Here's the Gordon run now. Have a look at him. <laughs> That's a look at him on the big screen. He's scary. I'm going wow. off the field now. I don't know. Look at this. My goodness. Look at this big thing go. This is fake heavy, heavy breathing for you too. <laughs> Just so you know that I'm absolutely stuffed. Come on, South Wales. Get a moment, As we thank you very much, Badge. As uh, we might catch up with, blowing. Look at him. We might catch up with Gordy a little bit later on. The way he's going, you fancy he's going to be involved again at some stage. Wally Lewis looking very pleased on the sidelines. 
Uh, it was a terrific try and came from virtually nothing up the other end. It was a, I, I reckon it was a 90-metre try. Once Gordon got control of the board, it was good night, nurse, to coin a rugby league phrase. <laughs> right. It's going to be uh, Manny Rogers to take this fairly easy shot at goal. In fact, it was a lot closer than I thought. And this to put the Maroons 6-0 up. They are away to a fast start. And in front of a packed Parramatta Stadium. Queensland 6, New South Wales 0. And of course, we are doing this for the Queensland Premier's disaster relief appeal. 1-800-219-028. And once Badge got clear air in front of him, it was shut the gate. There's another rugby league term you don't often hear. But there's a congratulations all round to Queensland. And the first try scorer, it was 40-1 to 1, uh, Badge Belcher going over for the first try scorer. Uh, the Blues here to kick things off. Hasn't it been entertaining? As we, oh, have a look at them. There are about five of them, five metres in front of the kicker. Oh, look at the kick, though. It was at least an, a 40-metre kick. Tremendous in New South Wales who got their hands full here as the Queensland team worked the ball out. Well, Robbie O'Davis, they're not the greatest pass in the world, but they get away with it, the Maroons. And the ball is played by Kevin Campion. As we see Jamie Goddard, your friend Joey, a dummy half there. They shifted out to the left. And now Goddard involved again as it comes to Rogers. Inside pass, nice juggle by Simons. And he's put on his back. Big tackle by Carroll in Simon's oh, first touch of the night. Now yeah, they go to the uh, right-hand side. That's a nice pass away. Back to Big Roy. And he's claimed this time by Sirenen. The ball be played here for Queensland, just short of the uh, halfway line. Here's the big fella, Mal. Quickly gets rid of it. Here we go. Talis will pass. Touch there. And streaking away Wishart. And surely that was touched. And Billy Harrigan does call the knock on. So Queensland will get six more tackles, but Rod Wishart just might have saved the try for the uh, New South Wales side there. But it's still Queensland with the early lead. They lead six points to nil over the Blues in the Legends of Origin. And the scrum pack's down. This gives everybody a chance to, you know, size somebody up because got, the scrums are packed so slowly. You think now that jaw's sticking out a bit further. There goes a foot on another foot. There is a bit of kicking in the scrum. I like to see that. And uh, Bill's blowing it up again. Oh, don't get involved, Bill. Let the players sort it out. The players, the players understand what's going on better than you, Bill. The actual player put his head in the scrum. Out goes one. To ding dong, Dell is it running up there? He's got it in the middle. Oh, I don't like Dell in the middle. I want him out wide where he can do some damage. He's got the ball. I wouldn't be surprised if he plays it to himself here. Uh, Wait comes now, and then further Queensland momentum here, Dan. Yeah, Matty Rogers there taking it away. That was a big tackle, by the way, by Brian Fletcher, who stopped Dell from going straight through. For Queensland here, now 32 metres from the New South Wales line as it comes to Campion. And he looks as fit as uh, well. when he left the game. And as they're 25 metres out here, Queensland on tackle three. Goddard dummy half, plenty of changes. It's unlimited interchange, of course. Now there's Gordy again. As he's now getting it up over the 20 metre line. Zero going in hard there with the uh, rear end of containing. <laughs> Four tackles gone here for Queensland. And certainly close as Goddard waits at dummy half. Nice slow play the ball, Rogers. Oh, oh the little banana kick and just too big. Well, flying through was Tony Curry. He's wearing number six, but he's playing out on the wing. And this will be New South Wales ball. And you imagine the players have just started to get a little tight. Now we're getting towards the end of the first quarter. 15-minute quarters. And we're three minutes away from that first break. Well, again, the scrum pack slowly and it'll be great to see Ciro in the scrum because he'd probably be able to take up the whole second row. <laughs> Uh, you probably only need one on the second row. You could break somebody out of there if Bill had let him. Uh, but it came off the back there, and I think uh, Braddy picked up the ball there and ran wide with it away from the commentary position for those who know Parramatta Stadium. Now we see here David Peachy with the ball for the Blues. Another one try, of course, so far. Ooh. There's Fletcher. Nice offload away. And look at Not the Blues go here. Kamali dummies. If he got the pass away, there might have been something doing. And New South Wales with Wendell making the big tackle there. 20 short of half way. Well, Carroll passed before the line. It went forward. It was knocked on anyway. So here come Queensland again. Oh. <laughs> and play the ball. Bit of argy bargy. There's going wide now. The Queensland have got a bit of space here. Through he goes. It's, I've got me number 13, Goddard. Amy Goddard. You he, might have, he can throw. You might have forgotten him, HG. He, he certainly Joe, hasn't. And mate. a wide pass there from the, from the play the ball. Comes. And it, it's uh, Rogers going through. Rogers is out. The ice come free. But New South Wales have the ball deep in, Maroon, in blue territory. They need to get something up the sideline here. And then Wishart. Wishart knocked over. He gets up and goes again. Typical of Wishart. Knocked over there by the uh, Scott. Uh, 25 metres short of halfway here, the New South Zero. Wales side. <laughs> yeah. Or Terry Lamb. 
Gets a little pass away to Kamali. Oh, put Kamali in a dangerous position there. And they're 18 They're both of the halfway. coaching staff at the Bulldogs. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Carroll again throws oh, a Carol. pass, which is knocked down. Now, that might be, I don't mean to be unkind, that might be the bloke who paid 15 million to be here tonight. <laughs> That's Bob Josipovsky. Sadly, putting the ball down. Oh, they're claiming it's Greg Alexander. And a oh. stat that's been pl uh, put up uh, on the Fox Sports coverage. Greg Alexander played six origins, 0-6. So looking for his first ever origin win. Last time enough. Sam Bacco with the ball, is it? No, Mal Meninga with the ball. And they they look come so across. Oh, oh, another intercept. Oh. Almost getting it there was Alexander. But Queensland gets six more tackles. 25 metres out from the Blues line. A full minute to go here in this first quarter. Oh, Mal. Mal. Kicks early, ricochets off a blue into touch. Now, a decision to be made here wasn't played at. As we see here, Benny having a word with Billy. Oh, ben, Benny's got his way. So, New South Wales scrum feed. And that'll probably do us for this first quarter as the players taking a little time. 40 seconds to go, though. We might get a couple of plays here. With Queensland up six points to nil. In this match, the Correct. Premier's disaster relief appeal game, the Legends of Origin. Brisbane uh, still very, sorry, uh, Queensland uh, still slow in packing this scrum. Uh, New South Wales think there's a try in this. Uh, I oh, think oh, against, the way it comes to against the head and Harrigan's let it go. So here come Queensland. They've got 20 seconds to do something here as big Tony Curry takes them on and brought down 19 metres away from the Blues line. They will get one play in, maybe two. Oh, Davis across the field. Campion, dangerous pass. And now the ball will be played by Roy Simons who cops a boot in the head for... Oh! It's Simons and Benny. Nice pushing it so over, hit him, Roy. Simon about to go. Throw him, Roy. I don't think Simons oh, was kidding. Here come Goddard. Play. That's brilliant play. Comes across to Goddard. He's put down. And have a look at him. It's Simons and Benny. And just for a moment, you fancy something was brewing. I'll tell you who we've got to watch in the second quarter. <laughs> is Spud and Simons. That's where it's going to happen. <laughs> it all started with Benny Elias getting tangled up with Gordy. Oh, oh, no, it started with a high tackle. And you can see there the boot didn't help. Let's have a look at the look on Simon's face. Oh, that's an angry man. This is hilarious. Oh, my goodness. He looked, that was how he looked when he was facing Harbison. Well, look, let's uh, go, ba go back. Who is he facing? So now let's, let's go back to the score. It's 6 0 <laughs> a quarter time. We had yeah. a wonderful try late on after Gordon Tallis charge. Uh, Gary Belcher uh, scored the try and he was converted by Matt Rogers from in front of the sticks. It's been, as you pointed out, I think you'd call, if I can borrow a phrase from you, Dan, razzle dazzle. <laughs> uh, it's been razzle dazzle. Ball security, sure. I, I would ask both coaches to address the teams concerning ball security, but apart from that, razzle dazzle. Now I'm told we've got Wendell Saylor down uh, on the ground uh, with us. Can you hear us there, Dell? Guys, I can hear you loud and clear. Uh, sensational <laughs> down here. It's very hot. I couldn't find my shirt. I must be allergic to it or something. You play your best footy, uh, Ding Dong, with the shirt off, don't you? Oh, 100%, mate, in this sort of weather. But, look, it's all about the fans. The fans turning up out here. Andrew Simons told me today, I said, why don't you play in the wing? He said, I want to get in the, in the mix. He's certainly in the mix, so he's backing himself here. Now, Dell, we, we saw there a little a little blow-up between Benny and Andrew Simons. And look at Andrew Simons' face. Yeah, Benny Elias, uh, he's a bit of a niggler. But uh, Andrew Simons, as we know, with Harper's own singing that shoulder charge, he never takes a backward step. In Queensland, is don't. And that's why we're the Origin champs. <laughs> all right, Del, good on you. Del, on that note, I'll say hello to all the flood victims out there. This is for you. Rub your league supporting you, and uh, we love you guys. Good on you, Del. Thank good you very you, much. Yes, indeed. Let's uh, go now to the captain of the New South Wales side, Big MG Mark Guy. Can you hear us there, MG? Yes, buddy. I got you, Dan. Hey, HG. Hey, you, Tap. How are you? What's yeah, the I'm, I'm like hot and cold, there? mate. Hot and cold. Hot and cold, good. <laughs> Unless you're not on and off. Pardon? Unless you're not on and off. No, no, not on and off. No. Uh, I'll tell you, boys, it's uh, a lot harder and a lot more willing than I thought it would be out here. And I think we've got to up the ante a bit as uh, New South Wales win, of course. The Queenslanders have got one over us a bit. They're coming out a bit too hard. So it's about time we still put our fingers eight, out and eight, had, had a go. Hey, Crackers, what happened then between Benny and Andrew Simons? Um, Benny said something about India and cricket or something. I don't know. It's, and uh, can, Roy didn't hey, can, like it. Can you have a word to, to Spud about not oh. passing the ball? So, I'm going to question his intestinal fortitude soon. <laughs> Good on you, MG. We'll catch up with you during the game. Okay, boys. And uh, we're in the quarter time break. If you just tuned in and listening on Triple M, we're also watching on Fox Sports in Australia and Sky Sport in New Zealand. Great to have your company, however you're watching or listening to this game. Also, uh, live stream 
on the Fox Sports and Triple M websites. 6 0 Queensland at quarter time in the Legend, Legends of Origin game. And uh, let's go down the sideline again where Greg Martin. Marto, uh, what's it like down there? It seems very, very willing. Well, the Queenslanders are pretty happy with their passion. Simo, they wanted to know what did Benny Elias say to you, Andrew Simon? No, there's nothing in that. Just playing no. the game. Three net, three quarters to go. You're going to target him, though? Oh, we'll just see what happens where the ball ends up. Kerrod Walters, what was the message from, well, there was plenty of power. Mal's still speaking. You better get in close. What has been the message? Oh, hang on, what's, your, hang on. what's the message? What's the message, Mal? Kerrod wants to know the message. Are you back on? How come? How do you make it back on? <laughs> oh, OK. Well, Kerrod, just pick up the ball and nice, clean passes. Mario's not giving you too many worries. No, no, I'll, I'll get him. Nice. Thanks, Mal. <laughs> Good on you, Greg Mark. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we could broadcast rugby league like this all the time? Get into huddles, get into halftime speeches, get well, into pre-game speeches. We got speeches. into a huddle one time, and Mal was giving yes, his pre-game. Was. Remember that? I do. The they pre-game. To, it shocked everybody. It dropped it. It dropped it the f-bomb. Well, oh, I think he dropped a bit more than that. Yeah, no, he he, he was electric. Actually, Sam Baker dropped the f-bomb after the game. Oh, do you I remember that one? That. I do. I do. And could, could you believe it? Well, yeah, I could. Coming from Sam Baker and Mal. <laughs> But I, I was just going to technically, what do New South Wales have to do, Dan? I mean, oh, they're behind on the scoreboard. Keep the ball away from Mark Carroll. Oh, and, and Mario Fennick run more decoys. Oh, right, right. And so we're all underway in the second half here. Or we're just about to get underway. In yeah. the second quarter, should I say. Absolutely. Four quarters, of course, we're playing tonight. 15 minutes per quarter. And it's still quite warm here at Parramatta. Ooh, As great we kick see the again. kickoff, and again, New South Wales to receive. So it'll be Queensland receiving for the third and fourth quarter. There's Carroll. As he's taken, all oh, in a little bit of trouble oh. there. And Talis, in fact, it wasn't Talis, it was Andrew Simons. Doesn't he look like a player, Andrew he loves Johnson? It. As Benny, see, where's Benny? As we see the Blues here running across here. And they're 22 metres short of halfway. A couple of tackles gone. And as they keep going to the yes. right here with Kamali. Here we go. Now Freddie okay. needs to see more of the ball, Freddie. And he's set upon there. That's good defence by Matt Rogers. As the ball came loose, back to Lamb. Now into the hands of Kamali. This is better. Around Roy and now taken beautifully by Rogers. And the Blues here just still inside their own territory on, on three tackles. There's Benny, quickly gets it away as they shift it through their hands. There's Fletcher, bumps off Coin and now taken there. Coin in again, so is little Adrian Lamb. Oh no. And Queensland's defence has been a little bit better at this particular stage as we see Carroll deciding not to throw the ball this time. And he's claimed they're a couple short of uh, halfway. Here we go, going down the blind side. Brian Fletcher kicking. It's not a bad kick either. It pins O'Davis in the corner. Let's look at the line of New South Wales defence. That's not too bad. And O'Davis is stopped nine out from his own line. So 6-0, Queensland continue to lead early in the second quarter. As now, oh, Andrew Simon's taken there. And Elias involved in the tackle. This time nothing doing, though. As they just get on with life. As we see Queensland there, it looks like Boasted who's uh, got the ball. Is it? Now there's Bacco. No, that's... As he stopped there. Is in fact, no, that's not Sam Bacco. That is our, our <laughs> option John winner who has a Sam Bacco look to him. Rod, Robert <laughs> Josephovke, who donated $12,000 to be in this game. What oh, an experience. There. As we see the Queenslanders shifted across to the left-hand side now. The, bat, the ball from Badge. Inside pass away quickly into the hands of Lamb. That ball was touched by Benny. Should be six to go. Comes to Rogers. He manages to get it away. This is nice from Queensland, but they're going sideways. Here comes, now comes million away. dollar man. <laughs> big big God, he's got skills. Look at him standing in the jungle. They can't put him away. And finally they do. What a great run. By a man Bobby. <laughs> who his claim to fame in rugby league is a bit of high school footy and a bit of park footy. And he's oh. mixing it with the big boys tonight. Get Beautiful quick hands across here to Andrew Simons who dummied. And that was the last tackle. Miscommunication there for Queensland. And the Blues get a changeover and they're inside Queensland territory. Lamb quickly away. Oh, oh the fun. pass is dropped. Good luck. As Freddie puts it down, it was on if he took it. And now a little bit of relief for the players. I'll get a scrum feed here. Queensland get the loose head and feed 15 metres on their what? side of halfway. 6-0 Queensland. Can I ask Bill what Harrigan feels... Got yeah, his head. I know, this must be for, you know, tribunal reasons, I assume. Uh, he can, his photograph or his vision will be subpoenaed if they if anybody gets into trouble with the tribunal after the game. I've got no idea. It's like we, Bill Harrigan to draw attention to himself. <laughs> Well, he's got a... He's Dell. It's Dell a, with ball. It's a German-esque look for Billy, as we see. <laughs> oh, it'd be something designed by Bill's people. 
uh, trialled tonight, probably never seen again ever in the history of rugby league. Now we have uh, our first injury of the night. Uh, those watching the coverage saw Brett Kamali take a knock to the eye and he's off the field. There's oh. now the Queensland side. Oh, go to the left. Now that ball was touched and this will be six to go and it's picked up here. Yeah. And it is by Willie Kahn. As the ball comes loose, play on here for the Queensland side. And as they're just short of the halfway line. Ooh, we've now got Billy in the effects mic there. As the ball is played, Robbie Get O'Davis. Outside, Benny. <laughs> He's very loud. I wish you'd turn it down a bit. Turn it down, Bill. And now the Queensland side inside New South Wales territory. There's Paco. Oh, oh he bumped him off. Now, and Fennick yeah. just hung on to him. As Queensland 35 away. Lamb running, running at the oh, line. The inside yeah, pass, Robbie O. Three. And he's uh, inside the New South Wales 30 now with three tackles gone as it comes from Kerrod Walters away to Lamb. The quick pass away to Jason Smith. Ball came loose on the deck. That might be a New South Wales knock on. It is. So, uh, Queensland to get a scrum feed, only 25 out and a chance to post more points. You know where Bill's got his headgear from? It's from Steeler Man. For those who remember their rugby league, the Steeler mascot wore looked like exactly like that. <laughs> Uh, it was just something weird about him. Space age, modern, futuristic rugby league of tomorrow. Uh, Stanley Steeler, you're thinking of Stanley H2? Steeler, yeah, yeah. Stanley the Steeler. Stanley yeah. the Steaming Steeler. Here come the Maroons with the... Oh, going straight through oh, Wendell Hart to stop he scores. Wendell's in, improves the position as well. Oh, a little bit of arrogance from the big Dell, but he got the try. Right next to the sticks. Look at him. Look at him. And a bit too easy. Ten points to nil Queensland as Dell laps it up here at Parramatta Stadium. And they'll hurt you from there. They've hurt New South Wales historically from that position, as my, my reckoning, 4,329 times in origin history, and they've done it again tonight. Well, if this game was to count for State of Origin, Wendell would have doubled his try scoring tally. He's still in good shape, Wendell, isn't he? Very good shape. Look at the He'll gene. He'll tell you there. that. I know. He told me before I came on here. <laughs> and then he improves the position. Who's going to take the shot? I'd love to see the lad who paid the money take the shot. See if he's got something there in his boot. Is. Big Bob. Well, as the uh, kick is about to be taken, let's go down to Greg Marto. Martin's got a special guest for us. Wally. Wally Lewis, coach of Queensland. Was uh, an overconfidence from Dell there? Well, I think that's been a bit of a permanent issue with the Wendell for a long, long time. But it won't be the last time we'll see a little bit of uh, extra confidence. But great to have him on our side. Um, apparently the man of the match has already been voted and Wendell said he won it. Well, the hardest job you had at quarter time was getting the jersey back on him. How long will you get out of Sam Bacco this stint? Actually, I've been surprised. Sam's lasted long so far than I thought he was going to in the entire night. Outstanding so far, Sam, but uh, he believes that there's a drink on board waiting for him. He's only been on 45 seconds. Thanks, Walt. Good on you, Marno. Good on you, Wally Lewis. Great to have the King part of the uh, coverage here. As we see New South Wales with this short kickoff, coins the man who drops it. So that works for the Blues, and I'll get a scrum feed here and a little bit of a break for the players with, uh, what are we, six minutes and 30 seconds into this second quarter. So we've got eight and a half to go before half time, and you can see some players, Andrew Johns, absolutely <laughs> desperate for a bit of a break. As New South I'm, Wales I'm looking at the Blues side, and Tim Brash is out there. He, he's the man. He's got to get the... His hands on the ball, he looks fast. Mm. Looks ready to go, look at him, HG. I know, he's just slightly in the wrong position. He might be able to move up. That's the lad for New South Wales, Tony Trim. Trim. Tony Trim, Trim. he TT. paid 14,600 to be part of this experience and he took it up well there as we see the Blues work at the Lord's Centre. What's he do, Tony Trim? He's a fruiter. Oh, he's putting yeah. his spare cash hanging around. Nice press. <laughs> Uh, now, away come the Blues again. They're making charge here. Uh, it's stuffed out a little bit on the 30 metre line. Big that was a big run up from Rickardson there. I think he's underneath Big Dell there. Great tackle and enjoy it. From Dell is a line. Here's Test up. Match. Oh! <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, that was brilliant. That was like WWE stuff. Here comes MG. MG oh. kicking. They've got the ball now. Six, Six, to, go. Go. Six to go. Out wide. Freddie's got it. Freddie kicks for the corner. Yeah. Here comes New South Wales. You could possibly imagine. The Blues are in, the crowd go nuts. Oh, what an experience for this man. Oh, that's the coolest thing I've seen in a long time. Let's have a look on replay here. <laughs> Test match gets hammered there. But that wasn't the end of the section because on the play the ball, they spread it wide. There's uh, Freddie with the ball now. He can see players out wide running for the corner. He gets it up there. Trim comes from nowhere. 
and puts it down. Tremendous there, Trim. Why hasn't he been snapped up in a coaching clinic before this? <laughs> And now a very difficult kick. Who's having the kick? Is it Ryan Girdler? Well, uh, yeah, it's good. as we wait for this kick to be taken, look, we've got we've got the hero there waiting for us. Tony Trim, congratulations. What a feeling. Oh, unbelievable. Just awesome feeling to have a jump off the kick off Brad. It's just was great. A, was that a kick from Brad Fittler or did you call that? I called it. <laughs> good, good. Do you feel as though you just wish you'd taken the game up a little bit earlier? <laughs> I don't know about that. Like last week? <laughs> yeah, I need more than last week, maybe a year off. <laughs> Terrific finish, though. No worries about the grounding at all. Thanks and the high much. fives all round. Congratulations, Tony, and thanks for the donation. Thanks, it's a wonderful gesture. Ah, yes, and what an ovation. Look at them, they're standing up here at Parramatta. But Tony Trim, a tremendous exhibition of fruitering tap on the shoulder from Gus. He must be a relieved man because I think Gus was worried about a zero, a zip, a donut, blot scoreline. Uh, here Here's comes the kick. Good luck. About eight metres inside the touchline. A bad looking kick, but it's waved away. So the margin is eight points here at Parramatta Stadium. 12 4. Queensland over the Blues. And we've got five and a half minutes to go in this second quarter of the Legends of origin match for the Premier's Disaster Relief Appeal. Remember that number, 1-800-219-028 on the website, queensland or qld.gov.au slash floods. And as we see here, the Queensland side with the kickoff. No fancy stuff this time. It's nice and deep. Jack. And it's Gary Jack who made a very positive start to this game, but he's <laughs> lost the ball there. Oh, it's oh, called a knock on. Oh, that's, that's cruel. Controversial. Yeah, cruel. As Gary Jack, they're very, very unhappy. I, as we watch uh, the replay here on the monitor. Oh, it's a pass. Oh, you can see that. We're in a charity game, for goodness sake. As we see the Queensland side about to get the feed and a chance to go back out to a, uh, a double-figure buffer. Lamb falling over there. Well, was it's the a surrender tackle. I hate that in the game. Quickly away, oh, they got an overlap. Oh, the it's knocked it into touch. And it's lost by uh, Kerry Bostead. It was Maybe some poetic justice there, HD. The Blues will get the ball back. It was an old-fashioned brain explosion as we watch him replay. He could see the trial and could see what he was trying to do, but then the arms and feet failed to connect with brain and ball. Look at the eye injury Brett Kamali has sustained. But he's grinning. He's loving it. I mean, that's the last one he's ever going to get playing rugby league. <laughs> as we see the New South Wales side is running it out of their defensive area. Jeez, Harrigan not really keeping it. A good 10 metres here at Parramatta Stadium. The Queenslanders rushing up there. But we continue on as Benny. And way to Mario. <laughs> oh, Bell got him. And the pass, oh, from, the pass from Benny put Mario in all sorts of trouble. <laughs> as we see here, Cliffy Lyons, the pass away to Fletcher. And he gets away oh, from Jason tripped. Smith. Oh, that's a trip from Bacco. <laughs> and it's called a knock-on here against Queensland. So he hasn't paid any attention, Billy Harrigan, to Sam Bacco's blatant trip. Oh, oh. <laughs> that is a send-off. No, no, it should be allowed in the game. <laughs> <laughs> As the oh. Blues here. Peach gets the ball away. Oh, they've run it. They've run it. They've got a chance to go ahead now. If the ball bounces right, they'll get it. They take it. Brasher. Brasher, a great effort there. But Tony takes the Queensland player who uh, collected the ball. I haven't got a beautiful done. run. That's razzled. Harry boasted 51 years of age. Tremendous And he managed run. to scoot back there. And claim the ball as the Mexican wave goes up here. At what a sight Parramatta Stadium oh, is. Was Nearly it, a full house. Why is it called a Mexican wave? I have no idea, Joey. It appeared first in the Mexican football. I think it might have been the World Cup of 1922. <laughs> the Queensland side. We learn something new every day. I oh, yeah, there was a oh, World Cup in 22. He got Queensland. Oh, it's a tremendous run here. What Lamb. a run. It's, it's Adrian run. Lamb and he's going to go all the way and score. Oh, Adrian no. Lamb goes hard the length of the field he was too quick for them and Queensland all of a sudden out to a 16 points to four lead and the coach of the St George Illawarra Toyota Cup side gets a four pointer and it was Brian Fletcher Andrew Johns that Lamb completely stood up well he played with Brian Fletcher he should know better Brian Fletcher look at that that, that was that was Adrian Lamb at his best beautiful play and now the score starting to get away from uh you know, the New South Wales side. So 16 points to four. Big Mal's going to take the kick. 
We might stick with this kick for a moment, then we'll cross down to Adrian Lamb, who's waiting for us. But uh, we can't miss the big fella. Toe poking one from one meter in from touch. Mm. Here on the western side of, of Parramatta Stadium. And big Mal here can put Queensland 14 points clear. Two very evenly matched sides. They've got the same average age, 42 years years of age. They, on average, retired in about the same season when you average out the, the players from each team. But it's all Queensland. And big Mal. I don't know if he'd be used to kicking off tees. He's more of a sandboy. Here he comes. The big fella. That's not a bad oh. looking kick. Just away. So Queensland 16 points to four as we cross to the try scorer boys, Adrian Lamb. Yeah, Lemmy looked up and saw your old teammate Brian Fletcher. Literally take him on. No, there was no intention of doing it. I just looked up and all of a sudden I was through a hole and felt like I was back on the treadmill. <laughs> there he is, Adrian Lamb. Thank you very much. We'll continue to talk to the try scorers. And we might have a few in the second period of the game, the third and fourth quarter, because um, as we keep saying, it is quite steamy here. In fact, it's a bit of rain falling here at Parramatta Stadium as we get the short kickoff. That might cool things down. Beautiful take, Tony Curry. And he's 20 metres short of the halfway line here for the uh, Maroons. Not long to go in this uh, second period, only 30 seconds. And Queensland conjure up a fourth try. There's Gordy Tallis, a star in the first quarter. Not so much in the second, but what an impact he's had. There's Mal with a beautiful not pass, lose, but not down. Campion losing it. Campion losing it. Down. 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 30 out. Got to do something in a hurry. They've got 12 seconds here to put points on the board. Benny saying get up oh. right quickly. There's now Gordy laying all over in the tackle. And we've only got four seconds left. So this will be the last play of the first half. The pass from Freddie hits the deck. In trouble. That looks like MG who's claimed... And that is the end of the first half. MG gets up the play, but sorry, big fella, the siren's gone. And that ends a terrific first half of rugby league here at Parramatta Stadium. Many people standing up and applauding the Queensland side, 16 points to four. Well, the quality of the play, Dan, outstanding. In the second stanza, uh, the 22-minute mark, Trim, the uh, fruiterer from Haverfield went over in the corner. A couple of tees. It was lovely. TT went over in the corner, made the score 12-4. Sadly, Gerds couldn't convert, so it remained at 12-4. Oh, in this. the 27th minute, oh, oh there's oh, a bit oh. of argy budgy here. Wally and uh, MG on. are reliving <laughs> origin history here with a bit of, oh, sadly, it's petered out. Uh, in the 27th minute, <laughs> Lamb saw space ahead of him and made the score 16-4. Mal couldn't convert from the sideline, so the score as we watch on uh, replay, some of the highlights of yesteryear, 16-4 uh, tw at half time. Damn. So there we go. And in fact, let's cross down as we see the players uh, staying on the field. Well, the New South Wales boys are as Queensland got the tunnel. Let's go down to Greg Mardo, Martin. I'm with Wally Lewis. Hold on, Wally's just congratulating the try scorer. Wally, Hello. you're on. Hey, uh, mate, you and Guy, was that, there was too many smiles for that to be serious. Yeah, yeah, and I can guarantee that the, the words that time were, for goodness sakes, they weren't the, uh, weren't the bad word. You're taking the boys into the dressing room. What's the theory? New South Wales staying out. Uh, well, the New South Wales guys are quite comfortable here with the breeze, but um, some of our blokes said that they needed a lot more comfortable chairs. They were looking for a little bit disappointed with their performance so far. Well, I'll be right to say one of the biggest worries is keeping 13 players on the field. A lot of them want to come off and not many back on. And I've got to say, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised, the mood out there. I thought it was just going to be a bit of a toy game, but Queensland v New South Wales, they never are. There's no sense of humour out there in the football field, particularly between those big props. What are you going to tell them down there now? You're well ahead. Yeah, just go out, have a good time, and uh, stay away from one bloke in particular. I don't think there's any guess who it is. <laughs> Mark Carroll. <laughs> good on you, Marto. Good on you, Wally. And we'll go and uh, have a chat to the New South Wales coach who's with us right now. Gus, Gus, what's going on? <laughs> We've got a few walking wounded down here. Some of them aren't as fit as they thought. Poor old Eric Groves done a calf muscle and Ciro's done a hamstring and a few, a few of the others have got bells ringing in their ears. So it's. Uh... <laughs> I'm just looking at them. They look like stunned mullets. And, uh, What's doing often, up there? I don't know how often Gus you'd be laughing at half time coaching a team down <laughs> 16 points to four. <laughs> Come on, oh, Gus, one funny. of those half time speeches. 
Yeah, that'll be right. They're just in the mood for it too. They're all laying out. I don't think we've got a second half in us by the look of this. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Gus, you can't Gary be Jack, by that. Gary Jack just chased Andrew and Lamb. He came back to me and said, I thought I was going quick. The other bloke was just going half pace. Now, now Crowd's loving on? it though, isn't it? It's good. Well, well, what about Benny? He's been the star of the show because he's been involved in every little fracas. It's been Benny. Yeah, well, that, that's just par for the course, isn't it? You knew that would be on. He got here two minutes before kickoff, didn't bring his boots, and he's been niggle, niggle, niggle all the way. And how good? What about the, the, the young fella, Tony Trim, scoring that try? What a moment for him. Well, you couldn't believe it, could you? He was, he was out there on the wing, and when it went through, it looked like Nathan Blacklock was going to score for sure, and then all of a sudden, the little ball did come running in from the wing. He grabbed it, and that's a dream come true. The fruiterer from Wetherill Park, he stormed onto the ball and he's put it down in the corner. And he's just gone for one of his own oranges. He's sucking an orange at half time. It's old fashioned Gus, footy here. We've got oranges for the boys. Gus, just before you go, have you enjoyed this experience, i.e., has it given you any desire to do, do this on a proper basis? <laughs> I'd, I'd need a better team. <laughs> These blokes are a bit past them, I think. This is, uh, I tell you what, this is an enormous night down here. You blokes have got to be given an amount. Faster and harder than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, faster and harder. Good on you, Brandy. Thank you very much. And uh, we get back to play here where Queensland get first use of the ball. And for those uh, just tuning in, listening on the radio, 20 points to four, Queensland. You can see the score on, your, on the screen there for those watching the uh, television coverage. And we probably expect, boys, a slightly slower fourth quarter because you've got to think that the tanks are pretty empty. I don't know. Mario's back on. Oh, Big Bob dropped it. Uh, I don't know. You know, sure, it's all very well to let people pay all this money to be out there, but when they can't play, you know, it's very disappointing. You know, people think it's becoming a joke now. You know. There he was in a prime position to score, and he puts the ball down. I mean, trim now, trim. A fruiterer, right? you'd have a fruiterer in your side any day. Uh, the New South Wales side, a chance to uh, post their second try in this match with 14 minutes to go as uh, the ball is about to be played by Terry Lamb and there's Brasher at dummy half way to Rickardson who takes them on and what are they 22 metres away here the Blues with a few tackles up oh the showing the ball the door showed the ball just oh no <laughs> it's all come unstuck now this should be play on here because Queensland didn't knock it on no he's knocked on both ways he has ruled a knock on both Queensland ways but feet. it should be Queensland feed absolutely H.G. Yeah. Nelson because uh, the first error came from New South Wales there. I still don't know why Benny's wearing white socks when the rest of the team are wearing the navy blue or the black, whatever they are. And as we see here, the replay on the monitor of uh, the knock-on. And Queensland quite happy to just take their time packing into this scrum. So Lamb feeds it. He's been very good tonight. There's Andrew Simons. He's been good. Yeah. He's been fantastic. Yeah. Maybe people are fair dinkum when they said this bloke could have played first grade rugby league. There's a oh, there's wow. Big Mal. And he ran straight at the little man, Nathan Blacklock, there. But he got a bit of help over the top from Fletcher. And the Queenslanders here have used up a couple of tackles as they just work it up the centre of the field. So the pace has noticeably slowed down here as the rain continues to fall at Parramatta Stadium. And the kick there from Rogers. Now, this is a 40-20 potential, although it's headed towards... Oh, that's a massive kick. Over the dead ball line it goes, and a 20 metre tap here for New South Wales, and a little bit of a break for the players. So 20 to 4 Queensland with uh, 12 and a half to go in this Legends of Origin match. So we're about to see the restart here. No one really too keen to get things underway. No, the steam's gone out of it, hasn't it, Dan? Uh, look, I thought at the end of the third quarter, I thought New South Wales were really mounting a charge there and pinned New, uh, Queensland in there, in goal, in there uh, you know, right down on their line. But now the people seem to have run the right flag, white flag up now and declared a 24-4 to 4 score line as being a fitting result. Great exchange here. Now New South Wales have got a chance. Here they go on the far side. Can they get it away? What a run. Look at that. It's Wisher going down against the ball. Oh. It's knocked on by Brasher. Oh, it's a tremendous result now. Queensland come away with the ball. Uh, the Maroons here. Chance to turn defence into attack. As it's uh, Big Gordy, isn't it? Yeah, Big Gordy with the ball there, and he's uh, 11 metres short of halfway. They've looked very good in patches, New South Wales. They just can't quite seal the deal. As now the ball from Rogers is getting more involved as the game goes on to Big Mal. Bingo. And that's uh, only the first tackle here for Queensland because there was a restart there. So the Queensland side with uh, plenty of tackles. <laughs> Under the block, here he comes, Big Bob. 
paid for the privilege to be here. Look at that magnificent that took four or five blues to knock him over in the end. <laughs> this is it. 45 metres out here. The Queensland side from the Blues line. has a little darting run from Kerrod Walters. He's been good tonight. Very good. And he'll play it here 39 out. And what is the uh, third tackle here for the Queensland side? There's a little inside ball away. As New South Wales holding on pretty nicely in this particular instance. And they come away to the left-hand side. Oh, well, there's Gordy. He's keen here. The dummy. Still Beautiful oh, pass. pass. Smith. Away to Jason Smith. The flick pass out the back door. Walters. Oh, oh the pass. The intercept. Magnificent. Man. Naughty there. One eye. He's got the pirate look. The Crimea wall look is back. But he saw that and was able to bat it away. Tremendous work. Now, Billy has ruled here a knock on. This is... And I fancy... Oh, he's talking about players whinging. They're talking to Bill now. I, I like that. I, fancy I like players talking to Bill. It's a Queensland feed as Kamali went up, couldn't handle it on the second go. There are. I think that's right. They've got trim on... Oh, they've ticked off trim, have they? <laughs> Fair enough. So we're seeing here, I'm looking at the back line. One, two, three. There's eight players in the New South Wales back line. Hang on, that's not right. And looking Blue at the balls. scrum. Reds off, let's go, quick. Blue balls. And I, I wish Trim would stay on. I think he balances yes, those numbers yes, better. Please. New South Wales have got Trimmy, get on. 13 on the field. They had it doesn't matter, Dad. Shut up, Dan. Kamali feeding the scrum, and then the eight in the back line. Well, that's all right. Eight in the back line looks good. Blue balls. Well, it's not as if they can lose the two competition points, New South Wales, as uh, they will get upfield. <laughs> now, uh, Phil it's Gould, a, have you got the headphones on there? Balls. Yeah, mate, I have. <laughs> now, now, what's going on? You can't even have 13 players on the field. Well, we made a tactical decision at half-time that 13 wasn't enough. <laughs> so uh, we've gone with extra bolster in our defence, and it's really worked the trick, I think. We've kept them down no. to one try. All right, so the New South Wales... Oh, hello. Oh, penalty. Penalty here for New South Wales. And by my count, that's uh, three penalties to nil. I don't know if Queensland have got one yet. We see on the replay, lines away to MG. And a two-on-one there, deemed a strip. I, I think B Bill wants to put... Oh, he's going to send some blues off. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh. That's not good. He's done the trim's count. back on. He's trim's back on. He's worked out they've got 15 players on the field. Oh. It's a new version of the game. Uh, by the way, the best of three uh, concept yes. for the... Should be... Is that right now? Well, certainly the success of this game. Where would you play next week's game? Would you play it at Suncorp Stadium, no, HG, I'd go on, to, on, on the dodgy field? I, I'd love to see the third one go back there as the Blues make a big in right up the park here now. Oh, bad pass there. Still defused there. Blues still have the ball. They skip it to Trim. Come on, get it away to Trim. Oh, Trim! He lost his position there and now it's kicked through. They'll have to bit of work here to do. And they fall on the ball and they rescue yeah, yes, Trim. Trim out of position there. Disappointing. No, look, I reckon you go to Melbourne, the MCG. Give it to MG to promote the Legends of Origin concert. Hit up, Tony. <laughs> That's right. At the G. 100,000 oh. at the G <laughs> for the Premier's Disaster Relief Appeal. Peach with the ball. Peach going forth. That long loping stride almost got away from a couple, but knocked over there on the uh, about the 33-metre mark. So the uh, New South... Can they get a second try in New South Wales? Queensland, a big buffer here with eight minutes to play. Kamali, the, the nice little jink off the left, but the ball... Has come off Queensland hands. This is a zero tackle. A long pass. They got yeah, the here. And as they shift it across, here's Eric Grant flying yes. away. Now it's Blacklock and he's there. New South Wales score their second try. How do you, can I just ask as a professional caller, Dan, <laughs> how do you confuse Blacklock with Eric Grant? Well, from this distance, they've both got. They've both got closely cropped haircuts, H.G. Nielsen, and I think there was a part of me, the theatrical side of me, really Whist. wanted to see Eric Groth score a try in front of his home fans here at Parramatta Stadium. Lamb, quick hands from Fittler, then on to Blacklock, and Blacklock sees the space ahead of him, and over he goes. Brilliant, and grounding, I've got no problem with the grounding at all. Often I do, but I don't. So, kick the come, and what have we got? We've got uh, about seven minutes left here in this match, seven minutes exactly. So, you never know. Two tries, it's possible. So it may be an important kick here for the Blues, as Nathan Blacklock, boys, has uh, got the cans on. Nathan, uh, tell us about that try. You've still got a bit of zip about you. I only want to have to, mate. Hey, Ting, are you still playing at the moment? I'm trying not to, but uh, they forced me to play, so I can't complain. <laughs> Who do you play with these days? Mate, I'm captain coach of the uh, Musclebook Rams, mate. Beautiful. Nathan Blacklock, well done on the try, and uh, thank you for being part of this tonight.
Mate, my pleasure. It's a great cause. And by the way, Harvey Norman donating $1,000 for every try that's been scored. So that try from Nathan Blacklock, another 1000 into the kitty for the uh, Premier's disaster relief appeal. He Girds with a kick. A kick. It's not bad. Coming around. Oh, and he's got it. it. A lovely bit of curl as well. So, 20 points to 10. New South Wales trailing the Queensland side. But enough time. If they get a move on, maybe we can have a grandstand finish. Who would decide whether there was a best of three? Would it have to go to Gallup or uh, somebody high up in rugby league? Or would, could the players just say, oh, we'll turn up at the MCG next week? <laughs> well, the event was put on by, by Triple M. Yeah. Um, well, Triple it, M Melbourne, Eddie Maguire on the breakfast program. He could start tomorrow morning. So. Jamie, Jamie Angel. Absolutely. The man I always ask. Well, we can. Well, the, grill, man. the grill team tomorrow is uh, Sydney's breakfast show. I asked Maybe Jamie to start. get the grapple from Sunday mornings to Friday afternoon. Okay, that's another show, Joey, we're talking about. But the, the grill team might start a pledge tomorrow. Maybe the cage in Brisbane, the breakfast show up in Brisbane. The grapple. Maybe the hot breakfast down in Melbourne. So perhaps, HG, a best of three series. I don't think these players can possibly. They couldn't play two quarters if we did it again next week. Uh, number 14. Lincoln Lewis. Lincoln Lewis. The son of Wally. The home and away star. He is on the field and uh, wearing, what's he wearing? Joggers. Wearing the number 14 Squash for Queensland. Years. As we see uh, New South Wales here trying to... I think you'll find it. Attack here. I think the, here we go. Well, is Billy trying to get this game close? Yep. Has oh, he he's tapped it on. So he's playing on. Come, in, uh, come on, he's having a run. He's collared by oh, Big Gordy. Big tackle by Gordy. Brent Hodgson. Yeah. Oh, oh, and then the, the little sneaky knee as the ball is played here away to MG. Oh, magnificent skill. Up. Spud. Spud, <laughs> beautiful. Knocked it on, chested it, got it on the fingertips, tapped it up, got underneath it, took it, and then took the tackle. Yes. Magnificent work. New South Wales here. Here's Wishart. Wishart oh. got this throw. Couldn't get the ball away oh, from the... Sam oh, Sam Bacco. Somebody trod on his foot. Oh, Bacco's in big trouble. The Blues here land. Here's Gaia. Gaia gets the ball back to Fittler. Fittler going. He bumps off one. He's got a head of steamer. He's there. He's always there. Three goes. Out wide. They've still got a charge. On it goes. Listen to the crowd. The crowd telling you everything about it, but sadly it's Steve Fuse, that Bill, right attacking Ray. Billy oh. calling play on here, HG, as they go to the right-hand side. Here's Kamala, the inside pass. Blacklock again. Oh. Stop the metre short. Here comes the last tackle. The New Muscle, South Wales. The Musselbrook Graham almost got another one. He's a metre shy. Back it comes Wishart. Wishart goes out wide. Out wide it comes his trim there. I'm looking for trim. I can't see him. And they fail to unload at New South uh, Queensland ball. Uh, the... Uh, the Blues falling just short, and that's probably their last chance done as Queensland to get this one metre out from their own line. Three and a half oh. to go quickly out of the sideline for Greg Marty. Yeah, Wally Marty. Lewis, you were just in conversation with the other greatest mind in origin history. You and Mal, how are you going to bring this game home? Just watch the other guys do the work. They seem to be enjoying themselves. But look, I've got to pay credit to these blokes. The, the effort that they're putting in, they've been retired for a few years, but it's been absolutely first class. And I'm sure the general public love every minute of it. Why is your son out there? I've got no idea. He's an absolute lunatic for going out there. Love playing footy as a kid, but um, being out there with the big boys, this is something he'll dream about. He'll, uh, he'll remember this for the rest of his life. All of a sudden, it's not so funny now the Blues are getting close. No, no, wait. Let's hope it finishes 20 all. Oh, hey. thanks, Walt. Oh, there you go. That's yeah, interesting. 20 all from the coach. Yeah. You don't often hear that, do you? <laughs> maybe, maybe he's part of that draw syndicate you were talking about, HG. Yes. As the kick, it's deep and Blacklock. In fact, it's Peach, you're right. He's got it covered. He's taken near the sideline there. 11 out from his own line. I believe, am I right, we've got Sam Bacco has got the headphones on. HG, talk to the great man, Sam Bacco. Sam, it's been a wonderful night, and thanks very much for being part of it. And how does it, how do you feel? Do you feel as though you've got another, another, uh, you know, origins of, uh, legends of league in you next week at the MCG? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'm 50 plus. What are you talking about? Well, listen, I know. It's a making this. <laughs> now, how far have you run tonight? Do you think you've managed to get uh, all up 12 metres? <laughs> there wouldn't be much more, would it? <laughs> now, now, Sam, can you just uh, explain to us, as New South Wales go on the attack here, uh, that comes to, to a grinding halt. But, Sam, can you tell us what size was the jersey, what size were the shorts? Well, i got a triple XL jersey and a double XL 
pair of shorts. Well, we've heard differently, Sam. We've heard 5XL jersey, 4XL shorts, but we'll give that to you. Thank you very much, Sam. Enjoy the night. Thank you. As we see here, the Blues putting a high kick up with a minute and a half to go, and the ball is knocked forward there by Brasher. Page, it's got to play on. They're going to score here in New South Wales. We've got a grandstand finish. Now, Billy, has, he's gone upstairs. Well, I didn't know we had the video operation. I didn't know we had the video referee operation. And this will put New South Wales, as now the try is awarded, as Billy cops a tackle off one of the Queenslanders. 46 seconds to go. Kick from right in front to put the Blues within four. And in fact, what if they decline the kick? They've declined the kick. They're going to go for the grandstand finish. Now, the clock is still running here. 32, 31 seconds. As we go down quickly to David Peachy. Peachy, you've got to tell him to stop the clock. Billy, come on, Billy. What you hey, doing, Pe Billy? Hey, Peach, what do you got for Thanks, this set? Bill. <laughs> Bit what? of magic, Peach. Yeah, mate, it was good. Uh, now this set, this next set, you got some magic. Well, very old friend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mark calling Orson. Come in, Orson. Well, well. <laughs> we'll let him catch his breath. There's MG. MG, you're supposed to be involved in this play. As we see here, he's got the uh, cans and microphone away now. So here we go. 22 seconds left in this game as the clock restarts. New South Wales down by six points yeah, as Wishart breaks away One. and is taken around the ankles there. A grandstand finish for a wonderful night of rugby league as they go. Oh, the left fitless the, kicking early kick in the tackle the top. Top. Queensland's oh, got it. Oh, Here comes Oh, he's kicked it. Can they make it? Look at this. Back on. Back on. Oh, they by Lowe. It went down to the last play, but how fitting in the match, the Queensland floods, the Premier's disaster relief appeal, it is the Maroons that win the match, 20 points to 16 is the score, we didn't see the kicker goal, but it's a Queensland win, well done to the Maroons, well done to everyone who's participated in this match, the 20 for New South Wales, the 19 for Queensland. It has been a wonderful, wonderful occasion. The crowd has stayed, I cannot believe, the crowd has been here right throughout. They have stayed to the very end. And they've seen a great night of rugby league. This will cross downstairs very soon.